Hello everyone and welcome back to Infinity Cal. In this video, we will design this double sheaf pulley or you can say double V pulley. So let's see how we can design this. So once we create a new file, I will change its background to the plain white and I'll start with the right plane sketch. Here, let me draw one center line. like this horizontal and another center line we will draw from the origin and vertically like this now select smart dimension give this center line distance 3.19 mm Let's draw one sketch. For that, I will select a line. Draw sketch like this. Horizontal. Again here. Somewhere here. Like this. Okay, so draw one sketch like this and now we will assign dimensions to this. For that select smart dimension, give this distance 0 0.15 mm, then from this point to this point. Let's assign this 0.81 mm. Escape it. Now let me draw this point somewhere here. Okay. And let me move this also. Okay. So now select smart dimension and give angle between this line and the center line. Let's give it 10 degree. Okay. Now let's assign dimension between these two points 0 0.31 mm. Okay. Now select this line and this horizontal line and give this angle 100 degree. Okay. So now you can see this line, this line is parallel to this line, okay. Now again we have to select smart dimension, select this line and select this center line. Once you can see on this side it is given only this side distance but when we come on this side it will select a diameter. So we will assign here a diameter of 0.31 mm, okay. Now select this line and this line. Give this distance 2.50 mm and from this line to here it will be 2.19 mm. This height we have to give 1.11 mm okay now right click and then select now just drag this point to somewhere here now let's select again smart dimension select this point and this point we have to give here horizontal distance so you can see here it is shown 0 0.07 mm but we want 0 0.13 mm okay so now let's give this distance also 
okay so now our sketch is fully defined and we can mirror it just select here right select now we will select here mirror entities and just select all of these lines by pressing control select this line this line and this line also all of these lines we have selected now select mirror about this center line and you can see in the preview it is mirror ok here ok now we have to assign fillets here for that select fillet give here 0 0.25 mm radius then select this point and this point same as it is this point and this point ok and close it so now our sketch is ready now let's exit the sketch now we will select here revolved boss select the sketch and you can see it has taken axis of revolution as this line and this sketch is selected for the revolve and in the preview you can see our pulley is ready ok this ok so now our pulley is ready we just have to create here one keyway so for that I will select this plane and then sketch here let me draw one circle smart dimension assign this circle a diameter of give here 0 0.85 mm ok select ok here now let's select here center rectangle and select this point as a center point smart dimension 0.203 mm and uh, from this line to the center point distance we have to give 0 0.52 mm ok right click and then select now select trim entities and with power trim trim the unwanted portion like this ok so you can see the sketch is still not fully defined to fully define this we will select again smart dimension select the center point and this line give this distance and you can see it is fully defined ok right click and then select now we will go to features and select extruder cut here we have to give extruder cut through all or you can give distance here 10 20 anything so that it will cut through all ok so i will so 10 mm is sufficient here as you can see it is going through all just select ok here so now our pulley is ready just let's assign some appearance to this appearance metal and from the metals we will select steel and here you can see polished steel double click on it and you can see its appearance is applied to this pulley so that's all in this video i hope you like this tutorial please make sure to like share and subscribe us thanks for watching